I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Man, they out here today. Story of my life, bro. This was like a decent fish. This was like a really nice fish. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's a good fish right here, boys. Stay out of that motor. Don't break me off. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I've got a fun one for you guys today. Surprise, surprise, we're gonna do some fishing. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this video, man. You're gonna see me catch a bunch of fish and one really nice fish. Also, you're gonna see me face some adversity out there on the water with disrespectful boaters. You get to see how I react to other people uh, coming up to me on the water. And of course, man, the Kyles. Oh man, the Kyles were uh, out in full force on this one. My patience was definitely tested on this trip. You guys are gonna get to hear me talk a little bit about that and explain why I feel the way I feel towards the Kyles out there on the water. Despite the frustration and despite the disrespectful boaters out there, I was able to catch some fish. I had a really good time out there fishing. And like I said, man, we hooked into a fatty stay tuned make sure you guys watch the whole video get to see all the action out there on the water really quick before we get too deep into this one i would like to say if this is your first time tuning in please consider subscribing to the channel we are ripping right up on 12,000 subscribers any minute now we're gonna hit that bad boy be able to color in another line on the subscriber board this is the subscriber board if this is your first time seeing it we're trying to reach that 100,000 subscriber goal and obtain the elusive silver play button right now hovering around 11,900 but 12k is imminent i would love to have you guys on board subscribe to the channel turn those notification bells on so you catch on my future content and help me color in the bar also some of you may be aware that recently I had a birthday and I just want to take this opportunity to show off this awesome guitar that my wife got me check that bad boy out Fender player Stratocaster made in Mexico really nice guitar man I'm loving this thing this is actually my second Mexican Strat that I've ever owned and this one plays much nicer than the first one that I had I actually sold that one a while ago and it turned out to be a good move because this one right here is even nicer really loving it I've been playing guitar since I was 14 years old that gives me about 22 years of a playing under my belt <laughs> Yeah, I just want to show that to you guys, man. Really cool, super nice. Shout outs to my wife for hooking it up with the guitar. But enough of that, enough yakking in the garage. Let's head out onto Beetlejuice. We'll hit the first spot and then pretty quick towards the beginning of this one, you're gonna see me hook into a nice fish, man. And then we're gonna catch several more along the way. We'll go out there and we'll deal with the Kyles and you guys can hear me vent a little bit about my frustrations out there on the water, but all the while catching fish and having a good time while we do it. So let's rip out onto the water and I'll catch up with you guys back here in the garage when we're done. Let's go. Not a bad little dude. Healthy fish. Nice. Nice way to start the day on the swim jig. Didn't take long. Let's let him go. Let's see if we can get us another one of those, man. Sweet. He smoked the swim jig. Let's go. Check my fluoro. Yeah, I need a retie already. That's what I'm throwing. A little pro green, 3 8 ounce. Devon swim jig, you know the deal. That Devon smoke. A little Kitek 3.8 on the back. Let's see if we can find us another one of those. Sweet. Let's go. This 
Swim to the Edo. I ain't mad at it. Even though these jack wagons up here in this red boat saw me come over here. They were fishing over there. They saw me come over here. They started their motor up and came and drove right in front of me and started fishing. That's just the way, dude. I don't know what it is about, about bass fishing that's turning into a, oh, there's a guy, let's go cut him off. Like, it's just what they all do. They, they all do it. They don't care, no shame. They'll just go cut you off, man. It's a pure jack wagon fest out here, but you can't let it get to you. Just gotta keep grinding. And it's the best when you can smack fish right in front of them. Good times, man. Let's get us another one. Read number two. Oh, is that a freaking knockaroo right there, dude? He smoked it. That was a hard bite, man. Come on. Eat it, buddy. Here comes Kyle. Let everybody know he can he can wakeboard, dude. They gotta come right by you. Make sure you know. Hey, I can wakeboard. Did you know I can freaking wakeboard, dude? Nobody cares, Kyle. He'll be back any minute. I assure you, Kyle will come back by. Let everybody know he can freaking wakeboard, dude. I need everybody in the lake to see me before we go home, Dad. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Can we stop and get an ice cream cone on the way home? Did you see me out there, Dad? I was getting super pitted. And I like to surf really close to people. It's kind of my whole jam, you know? I like get really close to other boats on the lake, show them absolutely no respect whatsoever. Story of my life, bro. This was like a decent fish. This was like a really nice fish. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's a good fish right here, boys. Stay out of that motor. Don't break me off. Stay out of that motor. This is a good fish right here. She's coming up. She coming up. Come on up. That's a chunk. Look at that one. Yeah. Look at that right there, boys. Woo! That's the way to get it done. That's the way to get it done right there. Whoo, that's a stud. That's a freaking stud right there. Yes. That Devon swim jig smoke. That'll go four. Yeah. Yeah, not a bad one at all right there, man. That's not bad at all. Check that one out, guys. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Four pounds, 11 ounces on that fatty. Boom, that's the way to start the day. That's a chunk. That's a chunk, man. That's a freaking chunk. All right, let's let him go. more like it cracked off a little chunk there quick and then smacked the 411 Devon swim jig smoke put it down for a minute picked up the prawn drug it around for a few minutes didn't even get a bite it's like all right man I might stick with the swim jig boom cracker jack right there in front of that boat that cut me off too as soon as they saw me catch that fish they pulled up and left man that was a good feeling that was a good feeling right there they drove by just in time to see me throw her on the scales yeah, dude, good stuff, man. Let's get back out there and get us another one of those, man. That was fun. That was a lot of fun, dude. Yes! Devon Smoke, Six Cents Fishing, man. You know the deal. Heaters only, let's go. Man, I feel like I did everything right on that fish. She started to turn back down and really put up a fight too. I felt her putting a little bit too much pressure on my line. Almost broke me off. And then I had the wherewithal to hit that button and let some line back out and let her fight a little bit more. I feel like I played that one a lot better. I'm learning guys, I'm learning. That felt good, man. That felt good to get that one. Let's go get us another one of those, man. That one got my adrenaline going, man. That felt good, boys. That one felt good. Yes, dude, thumbs up for that fish right there, man. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. If it's your first time watching, consider subscribing to the channel. Put out new fishing videos all the time and I would love to have you guys on board with what we got going on ripping our way to 100k currently sitting at a humble 11,000 if you like what you're seeing if you're having fun 
like I am, sub the channel, man. Help us grow this beast. Much love, everybody. I hope everybody out there is having a good day wherever you are watching this right now. And I'm definitely having a good one after that fish right there. That was that was the way to start the day. Yes. Divine swim jig smoke, baby. That one's got me amped up. Yes, yes, yes. Everything else is just a bonus, man. Just so you guys know, a 411 is a pretty big fish on my lake, man. Anything over a five is a monster. My biggest fish ever on this lake, nine pounds, eight ounces, which is also my personal best biggest fish ever nine pounds eight ounces but it's a super rare occasion that somebody pulls a nine out of here so 411 psh, i'll take that all day man locked in for the win 411 on that divine swim jig smoke show you guys what i'm throwing really quick pro green 3 8 ounce divine swim jig with a kai tech sexy shad 3.8 fat swing impact trailer six sense fishing sensory rod 7.3 heavy action corrado dc 15 pound fluorocarbon gets it done. Speaking of fluorocarbon, let's check that. Make sure we're good to go. Don't want to get broke off by another one of those in case we happen to hook into one twice our size. She put up a fight too. That fish was not coming to the boat. I mean, I thought she was bigger, honestly, by how hard she was fighting. She was really strong. Here comes Kyle back by, man. Gonna come surfing back by, make sure I know he can wakeboard. But that's all right, man. That's all right, because I'm still catching them going for the win today kyle's or no kyle's man we're doing the dang thing let's go heaters only baby Woo. that felt good dude that felt good this guy's gonna come right back by me look at him dude wants everybody to know he hey, just check him out just so everybody know kyle can wakeboard you can go right back and forth back and forth back and forth all day long that's what they do they got the whole lake they gonna come over here and do that whatever <laughs> whatever 411 411 baby can't drag me down not today not after that fish dude not after that fish she was a chunk those guys that just fished this spot that just goes to show you man that just because you're fishing somewhere and there's a big fish that don't mean you're gonna catch them you gotta have the smoke man you gotta have that that heat that divine swim jig heat is what she wanted yeah i saw those other guys fish this spot really slow i started thinking man it's pretty pressured i don't know if uh if i should pull up and keep keep making my way this way or if i should abandon it or what man with them putting all that pressure on it they were fishing really slow got over here and pulled out a 411 stick with it guys don't let anything discourage you not the kyles not the disrespectful fishermen that don't know how to find their own fishing spots none of that dude just keep ripping keep doing your thing it'll all work out they're eating that was awesome they're eating that divine smoke today Kyle should be back any minute though. Don't worry guys. If you guys are missing Kyle, he'll be right back. Two minutes. Don't worry. Here they come. Right on time. Here comes Kyle. Fire the swim jig at Kyle's head in a minute. Look at him coming right towards me. It's a total jack wagon move, man. Morons, man. Everywhere on the lake. Morons. A little bit of rain action. I ain't mad at it. Come on with it. Come on with it. Maybe Kyle will go home if it starts raining. Over and over and over again, dude. It never ends with these idiots. You wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? His name's Kyle. And here he comes on a wakeboard. Feels like another nice one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Chunk number three. Look at him, fat and happy. Boom. That's what's up right there, man. Not a bad chunk. You know the deal. Heaters only. He whacked it, dude. He was fighting so hard. Later, dude. All right. Some more of that. Need some more of that. Feeding up, man. Catching some chunks today. All of them have been full like they've been eating. That's what's up. Nice. 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 
I'm just glad Kyle's not around anymore, man. Seems like they've gone somewhere else. Oh, spoke too soon. Here comes Kyle. Got me raging right now, dude. Over and over and over again. That's probably the 10th time they've gone by today. And there's an entire lake here with nobody on it. That'll make you feel better. That'll make you feel better. I think it's a guad. Yeah, nice guad on the day. First guad on the day, I mean. That'll make you feel better when the Kyles are rolling through. Catch a fish. Nice looking guad. Pretty fish. Let him go. Later, buddy. Over there in the tree. Well, here comes somebody else on a boat. Look, here, here we go. Kyle number two. This Kyle's got a bass boat. It never ends, dude. It never ends. This dude's gonna pull right up on me. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Swim jigging. For me, at least. Thanks, brother. Man, they out here today. Come way up river, into the middle of nowhere to fish by yourself. Everybody with a boat pull up on you. It's crazy, dude, crazy. But he did have a 400 horsepower motor on the back of that boat. It sounded like supercharged or something. It was spooling up when he took off. Should have told him I'm throwing a Senko. Yeah, man. I don't know about you guys, but when I come out fishing, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be alone. I'm coming out here to get away from people. You know, do my thing, make my videos. Anti-social, if that's what you want to call it, fine. I don't care, but man, we just. I don't like it when people pull up on me while I'm out here fishing. I'm trying to be alone in in nature and catch fish. I come out here to be by myself, man. I, and I'm not I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't want people coming around me while I'm out here fishing. That's that's all it is, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. For the most part, man, if I'm fishing, I'm trying to be left alone. I'm over here by myself in the middle of nowhere for a reason. But people don't think. They don't think, hey, I'll pull right up on that boat. Let me just pull right up on him, ask him what he's throwing. And you see, I'm still, you know reasonably respectful i still told him what i was throwing swim jig you know that don't mean he's gonna go catch him i guess my point is i just like to be left alone when i'm fishing i don't like people running up on me i don't like people wakeboarding back and forth beside me 20 times i don't like jack wagons anyways got me a new trailer on get back over there into the spot make a sit down cast like an old schooler see if we can get another fish man let's get back to being positive Kyle's everywhere, dude. Four fish in the boat, though, so I'm happy about that. Three largies, one guad, and one four-pound, 11-ounce chub. Keep grinding. See if we can find some more. But yeah, I'm respectful, man. I, I keep it cool. I try to try to stay calm even when I'm frustrated. Like, I did not want to talk to that guy. Still answered his question. Still told him the honest truth about what I was throwing. I don't care if he knows I'm throwing a swim jig. Probably should have told him I was throwing a helicopter lure. That's why you guys don't ever see me fishing with anybody, man. Everybody's... Everybody's a jack wagon. That's why I love you guys here on the channel. All you people watching along, 99.9% .9 of you amazing, awesome, positive, uplifting people. Shout out to everybody that told me happy birthday on my birthday. That was awesome. I had so many of you guys wishing me a happy birthday. That felt good, man. That was uh, that was special, man. Thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate everybody who chimed in with a happy birthday. But it's all love and positivity here on the channel. And I feel like my videos attract like-minded positive uplifting people and uh you know you just have random people rolling up to you you never know what you're gonna get and then even a lot of times the people that you think are your friends aren't really your friends maybe you're different that's okay everybody's different everybody has a different mentality just giving you guys a little bit of insight on my mentality and why i kind of shut down when people roll up to me on the lake and why i don't really care for the ski boats going back and forth man I'm not into it I come out here to be by myself that's just the way i like it man catch me on the boat solo jack wagon free this is a jack wagon free airspace around lunchtime they start oh there's one smacked them over there off that rock nice 
around lunchtime, all the jack wagons start showing up. So hopefully we can get a couple more. It's fish number five right here. It's a little dude. Nice. Boom. Another swim jig eat uh, up there shallow. Right by that little submerged rock. I've actually caught a fish off that same rock before. So that's cool to come back here and get another one. Just a little dude. Later, buddy. Off you go. What I really want to do, though, is pull one out of this cut right here. Way up there shallow. That would be the thing. If I could get one out of the back of here, that would be fun. Bunch of bait over there. Yeah, like I was saying, man, party boaters start hitting it pretty hard on the weekends on this lake around lunchtime. So do a little time check here. Kind of want to be off the water by like 10 or 11 o'clock. This probably doesn't give me much time. 9.42, shoot. There we go. Nice. He smoked it too. Fighter. Jump for us, buddy. Fish number six in the mix. And he smacked it. Oh, there he goes. We're going to count that one. Number six in the mix. He smoked it up there shallow, dude. Finding him shallow. He smoked it. Johnny Five was alive and then number six got in the mix. Can we get that seventh heaven in this piece? Let's go. All right. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. 611 medium heavy moderate action lux rod here that I have this speed weight tied onto. Come in here, grab my six cent scissors out of the box, clip the speed wake off, put her away somewhere nice and safe. Nobody cares, Kyle. Now, reach off into my bag of tricks that I brought from the house. I have one of those new bluegill square bills. Crush Flat 75X Custom Bluegill. Do a little crank baiting along this rock wall here before I get to this next cut. And then once I hit this next cut, I'll probably have to call it a day because the pleasure boaters are starting to come out in full force. As you can see, got Kyle, Kyle Jr., Kyle Sr., and Uncle Kyle all ripping around right now. If it's like this on this part of the lake, the main part of the lake is probably going to be insane. But I do want to throw this while I'm out here, so that's what I'm going to do. Custom Bluegill crush flat 75x from the six see if we can get us a crankbait eater eaters and eaters come on buddy i would love to smack one cranking right now this part of the shoreline's totally blown out from all the pleasure boaters but i don't know man we might be able to smack one out of here keep almost blowing my reel up man what's your deal lucille get it together man oh Drag's not set, but I got one. Nice, he smacked it, dude. Custom bluegill crankbait eater up there by the trees. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Boom. Boom, that's the first one on that custom bluegill. Oh, go on, you're free. There we go. Better little buddy. <laughs> that's a like technical. FLW release right there. Dude, that's what's up, dude. Up by the trees on the crankbait. Didn't have my drag set at all. Freaking loosey goosey. But he smoked this thing, dude. That was cool. Do that again if we can. Come on. I mean, come on, buddy. Give you guys one more quick look at that crank. Look at that, man. Custom bluegill. Beautiful. Looks like a custom painted bait, but it's not. If you guys are interested in this bait, or the swim jig that I'm throwing out here today, you know what to do. SixCentsFishing.com. Use my code JR10 at checkout. It's going to save you 10% off of everything on the website. I'm running out of time. I'm going to go back to the swim jig for a minute, but we'll keep that on deck just in case we get a feeling. I got a feeling. It's pretty nice stuff in here. This will be the last pocket I'm able to hit today before I got to call it quits and head back to the house. But I've had a good time out here fishing with you guys today, man. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, sub that channel. Help us fill in that uh, subscriber meter in the garage there, man. I would love to have you guys on board, man. Help us crack that 12,000. Oh, there we go. Nice. He smoked it. Oh, dang. He came off. 
I mean, that was a freaking roasting. That was a molly whop right there, man. That fish hit it hard and he just came off. Well, I wasn't able to get another one. The wind's starting to rip. I'm gonna get my rods put back in the rod locker, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too, man. It's been a good one out here today. I think we caught, what, seven and a 411. Not bad. That was a good fish. Fought super hard. Fought it. Fought like a six pounder. Every bit like a six pounder, man. Put up a heck of a fight. Hope you guys enjoyed the fishing portion of this video, man. Gotta get my gear put away, man. The wind is ripping. Let's go. And there that was, guys. I hope you enjoyed that fishing mission out there amongst the Kyles, the Kyle Seniors, Uncle Kyles, and Kyle Juniors. Putting my patience to the test out there, but still had a blast. Still caught some fish and caught one really nice fish. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Stoked on that one. It's not often that I pull a four or five out of this lake. There's a lot of smaller fish on this body of water, and you know, it's not super common that you pull a four or a five plus. It's even rarer to pull a 9.8 out, which I haven't done before. Go back and check that video out if you haven't seen my PB video. I believe it is the channel trailer here. If you guys want to check that out, go see me catch my personal best largemouth bass, nine pound, eight ounces. That video is out there for you guys. Like I mentioned while I was out there on the water, if you guys are interested in any of the baits or the rods that you see me using in my videos, Six Sense Fishing, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 at checkout, 10% off everything on the website. It's an excellent way to support the channel. Also, they have the best monthly bait subscription service in the game, the Super Six Sack. You can use my code JR10 Super Six. It's going to save you $10 off of your first sack on that bad boy. Also, shout outs to Waterland. Those are the sunglasses that you guys see me wearing. Right now while the launch is going on, you could obtain the Angler Born Quality Built Optical Heaters for 35% off if you use my code JR10 on their website, waterlandco.com. So yeah, those are just a few ways you guys can save some money and show support for the channel if you happen to like what we have going on over here. If you had fun, if you enjoyed hanging out with me out there on the water, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help us reach that 100K. The road to 100K gets shorter by the day. Put out new fishing videos all the time as much as I possibly can and I would love to have you guys on board with me over here. I'm in it for the long haul man i'm willing to put in the work we're nowhere near 100,000, but i believe that we can achieve it together and i believe in speaking my goals into existence and i believe in manifestation i believe that uh if you want to achieve certain things you need to say what you want to achieve and speak it into existence and that's what i try to do 100,000, we can do it together man come on let's get there i'm grateful for all 11,900 of you that are currently subscribed right now and i know we're gonna hit that 12k any day man so much love to you all thank you all for riding with me for hanging out with me for watching me fish for tuning into my video videos. Shout out to everybody who leaves me positive, uplifting comments. I appreciate you all and much love to everybody who has used the JR10 code with Sixth Sense Fishing or Waterland. Speaking of the code users, I like to give everybody who uses my code a shout out on Instagram. So if you do happen to place an order and use that code JR10 for the win, take a little screenshot of that confirmation email that they will send you. Hop on over to Instagram and shoot me a DM with that screenshot. At the Justin Royal is my Instagram name. If you're interested in seeing additional content from me, you can follow me over there. I'm always posting to the story, showing you guys what's going on around here at the house, behind the scenes stuff, stuff that you don't get to see here on the channel. And like I said, everybody who uses that code gets a shout out. So send me a DM with that screenshot and I'll hook you up, give you some public recognition. Much love to everybody who has already done so. So many awesome people chiming in with their messages, showing support, using that JR10, sixcentsfishing.com, waterlandco.com, heaters only, you know the deal, man. But I think that about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one.